Paul Sembeguya says the project was written in 2006 and stalled for over four years. When it became operational in 2010, he expected timely release of funds, but this hasn't been the case. To date, he has received 4 billion shillings, out of the required 6.5 billion shillings. Using the availed resources, he has managed to purchase and distribute 19,978 female local goods, out of the required 54,000. Around 20,000 goods procured and supplied to benefiting farmers. That number is quite reasonable. If you add on the, the, the offsprings, the number is, uh, stands at around uh, 36,000 goats to date. So that number is a bit substantive to push the project forward. Now, what we need eh, to achieve our objectives, or rather to achieve at least 80% of, of our objectives, is the government's continued timely release of funds. Last month, the media was washed with reports that Sembegu, while appearing before the Public Accounts Committee, threatened to sue government demanding for payments of over 12 billion shillings as lodging fees incurred for keeping, feeding and treating the goats while on his farm. However, Sembegu refutes these claims. Sembegu, I have never wished to take government to court to claim 12 billion. Eh? The issue of 12 billion came as a result of government's failure eh, to perform its duty as per the MOU. Eh? We got stuck with 3,025 3, goats, which the ministry left with us. We never intended to keep those goats, but ministry did not give us money for selecting farmers, training them, and distribution of goats, plus the recurrent supervision and monitoring which we, we, we are doing now. The state minister for animal husbandry Lieutenant Colonel Bright Ramirama while touring Sembegria's farm attributed the untimely release of funds to several complaints raised by key government institutions about the project. The failure to release uh, government funds as was required at that time arose because of the operational structure which was lacking. When the project started, the ministry had not put in place a monitoring technical team. So I asked the PS and he appointed a technical team. Uh, Ramirama also lashed out at individuals who claimed that the project was non-existent, saying that he had visited and interacted with beneficiary farmers over the years in the area. The beneficiary farmers, on the other hand, are grateful about the project and claim that it has changed their livelihood. Yes. I have been selling off especially these young, young bucks on a quarterly basis and have been earning between 1M and 1.5 million Uganda shillings quarterly. According to agriculturists, if Uganda is to realize its goal of exporting goods to the Arab world, this program needs sufficient funding from the government and numerous interventions by the line ministry. But the process has been long and it has met with delays and difficulties, but the projected gains are considerable, both for national economy and for smaller holder farmers. Samuel Senono, UBC News in Zimbabwe District.